नमस्कार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप सभी का आप देख रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री विद्या चैनल और एन ऑफिशियल मैं हूं धर्मेंद्र सिंह इस खास सत्र में हम बात करने वाले हैं साइंस विषय के बारे में कक्षा नौ के विद्यार्थियों के लिए आपको याद होगा कि दो सेशन ऑलरेडी इस पर हम कर चुके हैं मैं आपको टाइटल बताऊँगा तो शायद आपका जहन में ये बात ताज़ा हो इम्प्रूवमेंट इन फूड रिसोर्स पार्ट थ्री यही बात जिन्होंने मिस किया है वो एन ऑफिशियल पर जाकर दो जो लिंक अवेलेबल हैं दो सेशंस के वो देख सकते हैं उनसे भी आप अपना जुड़ाव बना सकते हैं आज हम तीसरे पड़ाव की तरफ चलेंगे इससे संबंधित अगर आपके कोई प्रश्न हैं तो आप हमें फ़ोन कर सकते हैं एक टेलीफोन नंबर अपने टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर आप देखते हैं अक्सर ये रहा डबल एक खास बात जब भी आप इस नंबर को डायल करें जब भी आप फ़ोन करके हमसे बात करें तो जो टेलीविज़न सेट का वॉल्यूम है उसको थोड़ा सा आप स्लो रखेंगे ताकि आपके प्रश्न को हम बखूबी सुन पाएँ और अपने एक्सपर्ट के समक्ष उसको रख पाएँ और उसका प्रति उत्तर भी हमें उसी तरीके से प्राप्त हो मेल कर सकते हैं आप डी टी एस डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन ये है वो मेल आई डी पी एम ए विद्या का जो चैनल नंबर नाइन है उसको आप टीवन कर सकते हैं इस प्रोग्राम से जुड़ने के लिए और एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल पर भी इस प्रोग्राम की लाइव ब्रॉडकास्टिंग है स्ट्रीमिंग है वो भी जारी है चलिए स्वागत करते हैं डॉक्टर प्रियंका वर्षनी जी का जो कि असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हैं लेडी एयरवेन कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली से उनका वास्ता बहुत बहुत स्वागत है प्रियंका जी आपका नमस्ते सर कैसे हैं सर जी जी बहुत बेहतर कामना करता हूं कि आप भी सकुशल होंगे और आज तीसरे पार्ट पर हम बात करने वाले हैं इम्प्रूवमेंट्स इन फूड्स तो जो रिसोर्सेस है सारा समय आपका है स्टार्ट करते हैं थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर इन द थर्ड पार्ट थर्ड कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विच इज इम्प्रूवमेंट इन फूड रिसोर्स सो एस सर हैज ऑलरेडी सेड दैट टू पार्ट वी हैव डन सो इट विल बी रियली गुड दैट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस you can go and you can just see the part 1 and 2 otherwise also you can any time go back and see so let's start our discussion so first of all in our discussion i would like to highlight all the students who have missed last two uh, sessions that these were the key important components which were covered in the previous session so we have talked about need and significance of food we have talked about issues concerns and challenges in context of india we have talked about improvement in crop yields and we have also talked about crop production management and crop protection management so these were the things that we covered and we discussed in detail in last two sessions in today's session i will be talking about animal husbandry the last two sessions were focused on the plant part but this session is primarily focused on the animal part so when we talk about improvement of uh, food resources then we have talked about that is that food resources come from plants as well as the animals so today we will see how animals contribute in the generation of food and how we are dependent on animals for our food requirements so here students uh, today we will be talking majorly on cattle farming and poultry farm okay so first let's understand what is animal husbandry okay i'm sure you would have heard this term many time it's a very commonly used term and the meaning is that that we are uh, taking help from the animals we are you know that we all are connected this is the ecosystem and all the animals you start from you know uh, different groups different kingdoms they are all connected so when we talk about bacteria when we talk about protozoa when we talk about plants fungus animal all of us are connected and all of us are dependent on each other so similarly human beings we know uh, that we are heterotrophic we are dependent uh, for our food on plants and animals so for plants we get so many you know fruits vegetables spices so many things we are getting from plants and animals also are a source of so many foods for us so animal husbandry i would say it's a professional rearing up of the animals to ensure that they are healthy they are safe but at the same time we increase their production also for example the we increase the production of milk we increase the production of eggs we increase the production of fishes we increase the production of you know so many things the animal products so that food requirement can be fulfilled through animal sources also so animal husbandry is the scientific management of animal livestock we take care of them in the environment which is safe and healthy for them and also hygienic and clean for the production of animal foods so it includes aspects such as feeding unko feed karna unka dhyan rakhna breeding we select the breeds also so that the you know uh, different requirements different desirable qualities like the uh, increase in the production of milk or maybe the disease resistant variety of animals or maybe you know increase in the quality of milk so many things are taken care of if we are uh, raising the uh, poultry farms for the production of egg so we take care that the number as well as the quality of eggs uh, is increased so we take care of this also and apart from that disease control 
because when we are taking help of animals for the fulfillment of requirement of our food this is our responsibility that they should also be healthy because this is the equal system we should not think that we are using them or we are exploiting them we are taking their help and in turn we are helping them so this is our responsibility to take care of their food and also their health so disease control aspects are also taken care of in animal husbandry now animal based farming includes cattle farming we use a uh, cow and buffaloes for cattle farming we uh, take their help and there is a uh, farming of goat sheep poultry meat hen and fish farming also in fact uh, in many parts of our country where uh, the primary uh, crop is uh, rice like eastern part of india odisha and bengal there a uh, lot of rice is grown so we all of us know that rice needs a lot of uh, water so when water lot of water is there then many times we combine the two we raise the fishes also in that water so there is aquaculture there is raising of fish and there is a uh, crop growing for rice also so we get the double benefit we are able to grow the rice and we are able to take care of our aquaculture also so this kind of fish farming is also in practice now let's first start with cattle farming so students this is very important to understand what is the purpose of this cattle farming why are we doing it so there are two things for which we are doing cattle farming one is the requirement of milk we need milk we know that milk consumption is very high and milk is also one of the main important source of uh, calcium protein you know lactose sugar so many uh, vitamins and minerals and protein is there in the milk so of course in children especially it is said that milk is a kind of you know it's a full fledged food in itself so when children are very young when infants are there 0 to 2 years of age infants are there then it is said that milk should be the primary diet and apart from that the solid food should be given so milk requirement is much more and for that i think in previous session you would remember we had talked about white revolution also how the production of milk has been increased in india over a long period of time so of course cattle farming cattle husbandry is done for milk we want to increase the quality and quantity both of the milk to fulfill the food requirement of the large population of india which is 1.4 billion so this is number one requirement and apart from that cattle farming is also done for the requirement of you know uh, animals which are not producing uh, the milk as such like you know uh, ox bull they are not producing the milk as such but they are very very useful and helpful in various agricultural practices like tilling irrigation you know carting so many things are there when we take their help so animal husbandry cattle husbandry is done for two purposes milk as well as uh, support in the agriculture labor labor purposes so we have milk animals milk animals are those animals uh, which are used for the production of milk and draught animals are those animals which are helpful in the labor part so this is the purpose of cattle farming if we talk about indian context students we have a two different species of cattle one is bos indicus the scientific name is bos indicus and the common name is cow jisko hum hindi mein gaye kehte hain so jo cows hain jo gaye hain unka naam bos indicus hai and they are very very helpful and they are very uh, i would say they are helping us a lot by providing the milk requirement to a large population that's why you know in common uh, thing we say that gaya hamari mata hai so so the purpose is that it is very useful for us and cow is helping us in different ways by giving the milk so this is one species of cattle which is there with us which is very very helpful and also another species buffalo in hindi we call it bhains to isiliye aapne aam bhasha mein suna hoga gaya ka doodh bhains ka doodh so these are the primary uh, cattle which are there with us cows and buffalo and the scientific name of buffalo is bos bivalis so we have bos indicus we have bos bivalis which are used for the production of milk and milk producing females are called milch animals as i just said dairy animals while the ones used for farm labor are called draught animals means they are helpful in the labor part like tilling and irrigation of the field so as you can see i have put certain pictures also to give you the visual experience and you can see uh, we have different varieties of buffaloes like murra nagpuri surti nesana zafrawadi these are different varieties so we have different varieties uh, of cow as well as the buffalo and they are selected for breeding for the reproduction on the basis of their uh, i would say strength so many species have strength like you know they are high milk producing uh, species many are there which are disease resistant so we see the desirable characteristic desirable qualities which we want 
uh, in our animals and on the basis of that we breed them you would remember in the previous sessions we had talked about the hybridization so in plants we do hybridization we reproduce two plants or different varieties to bring the desired qualities similarly in animals also we are breeding two different varieties to get the desirable qualities like you know higher production of milk or maybe the disease resistance aspect and other things so uh, one important thing students which we should remember when we are talking about the milk production what is the criteria on which this milk production is dependent so when you talk about milk production in you know cows and buffaloes so this is very important that when at what part of uh, or what stage of their life they are producing the milk this is known as lactation period okay lactation period is that period which is uh, starting after the delivery of the calf so when a cow gives birth to a calf or a buffalo is giving birth to a calf in child after that the lactation period starts so in this time they produce a lot of milk so of course if we want to increase the production of milk we would like to have the variety of cow or buffalo which is having a long lactation period so that you know for a long period of time milk supply is there which is people to fulfill the need of number one priority should be of their child calf and also when the extra milk is there that we can use for our consumption purpose, for ourselves for our children so of course on humanitarian ground we should always you know uh, we should not deprive the animal of giving uh, milk to uh, her child first and after that then extra milk is there we can use it so we have to select that variety which has a long lactation period this is very important and also you know when we are doing breeding we can select some of the varieties which have long lactation period for example we have uh, various foreign breeds of cow like you know jersey and brown swiss these are the foreign varieties of cows so we select them for the long lactation when we talk about our indigenous varieties then we have red sindhi variety sahewal variety they show excellent disease resistance because you know if you are uh, raising some cow or some buffalo or some animal and if they are very very prone for a particular disease we may end up losing the animal in between of course uh, on animal rights ground this is not good that you know uh, the animal is dying but at the same time if you see it from uh, the farming point of view from husbandry point of view then also it's not a good situation so we have to select two varieties we generally select exotic variety that is the jersey and brown swiss and an indigenous variety red sindhiwal and sahewal and then we cross them we breed them so that we get the progeny which are having both the qualities are having both the desirable qualities so we can cross breed animals now after crossing after raising this is important that you know we take care of the surrounding also because if we do not take care of the surrounding the hygienic conditions are not there clean conditions are not there then of course we may end up uh, having the cattle which are having lot of uh, diseases or they may you know not perform well in terms of their health and they may not perform well in terms of milk production also so we should take care of so many things it should not be the case that we just you know uh, take the animal and make him or her stand at one place and we are not taking care of the animal and just expecting that at the end of the day will get the milk and other required products from the milk so this is not good on both the grounds on animal rights ground also on humanitarian ground also and also on or from business point of view if you want to increase the production of milk so proper cleaning should be there shelter facilities should be there you know animals should not be made to stand in open like that if summer uh, weather is there you know summer condition is there lot of heat is there and if you are making the animals stand right in front of you know sun so of course their dehydration is going to happen they are going to be compromised in their health and on the opposite of that if extreme cold conditions are there a lot of winter you know winter is there a lot of harsh cold winds are blowing and you are not taking care of the animals then they may end up die uh, because of that harsh uh, extreme environment so we have to have a shelter which has first roof on their head so that they are safe from extreme heat extreme cold and also uh, we should uh, you know uh, this is very important for cattle farming specifically student that the slope you know the ground should be slopey the ground should be slopey why because when you clean it it is easier the water will fall down it will not be accumulated at one place because if you do not take care of these small things the animals are you know they are just standing in the very very moist environment they are feeling cold and they may get many diseases also like virus bacteria and fungus fungus especially uh, you know if moisture conditions are there it grows very fast so it uh, the animals may have skin diseases they may have other problems so we should make the floor the ground in slopey way when we are constructing the shelter for the animals it should be it having slope so that water just 
slips down it flows down so that it doesn't get accumulated at one place well ventilation should be there proper aeration should be there in the shed you know these all things are very important and apart from that we should clean our uh, kettles every day it should not be the case that we just make them stand like the way we are taking care of ourselves it is said that we should take bath every day why to avoid the germs to avoid any kind of infection same applies to kettles also so we should give them a nice you know brushing uh, and nice bath so that we can remove the dirt dust any bacteria any virus or you know some loose hair are there we can remove that also so this is very important that we maintain the good care of cat otherwise we will not be able to uh, reap the benefits which are there from uh, we get from the animals so this is it and apart from that food requirement so many times you know we see that uh, especially in case of cows and buffalo we see, we see that they are just roaming around on the roads and they are eating anything or everything which is coming their way and it was a i think a very important topic of coverage in the news also that many times uh, you know people are uh, having the cows they just uh, take them to their houses at the time of milking them taking the milk and after that they leave them they are not taking care of the food they are not taking care of the shelter they are not taking care of the cleaning and then cows are just left free on the roads and they are eating anything many times they end up consuming the polythenes the plastic bags and all which gets accumulated in their uh, stomach and then of course with the uh, huge accumulation of these things they are not able to digest the food and they are suffering from various diseases so this is also something that has to be stopped we have to take care of their food their you know shelter everything in a proper way so for that if we talk about food then food may be of you know uh, purposeful the purpose of food is at two level one is that uh, we want to maintain our health so for animal health also for cattle health also the food should be very healthy it should be rich in protein and you know fat and carbohydrate it should be having essential nutrients which are required for the animal so that they can maintain their number two requirement is very important apart from maintaining their health children we are planning that we want to get milk from them so when we want to increase the production of milk from where the milk is coming it is coming from their body so if they do not have the required protein fat and other nutrients in their body they will not be able to produce a large quantity of milk and also a good quality of milk so for that this is important that we provide those nutrient those nutrient also which are helpful not only in the maintenance of their health but also increasing the quality of milk that they are producing during their lactation period so this is also very important now when you talk about animal feed it has roughage roughage means the fiber in our case also we say that our food should have the roughage as well as the uh, food which is having uh, carbohydrate protein and fat minerals and vitamins so same applies for animals also it should have a large amount of roughage the fiber and also the concentrate the concentrate is that part of the food for animal which is having a high quantity of nutrients and apart from that in the market these days because you know this is a professional activity these days we have very, uh, various feed additives also that we can add in their food and that is going to promote their good health and also going to increase the quantity and quality of milk so this is very important that we take care of the shelter we take care of the food and apart from that you know uh, many times uh, cattle suffer from various diseases you would see that i have uh, shared one image with you you can see this image so these are lot of lumps which are visible on the body of cow lot of lumps are visible so this is the skin infection which has happened so of course animals are also cattle are also prone to various kind of infections it may be external infection it may be internal infection so external means the skin diseases so many skin diseases are prevalent in animals so if we do not take care of the, these diseases then of course animals or uh, like you know in this case cattle are having these diseases there might be various parasites which are growing on their skin and there might be various internal parasites also like you know a various worms might be there liver fluke is something which is uh, known to uh, damage their stomach and their intestine so there is a full fledged cycle of liver fluke it comes from a uh, mollus then it reaches to the animal then the cycle is there and they damage them so we need to take care of this that we save them from external parasite as well as internal parasites and also various kind of you know viral bacterial infections uh, uh, might be there for cattle as well so like in our case we say that so many diseases can be averted can be avoided if we vaccinate the individuals on a correct you know uh, at correct time so this applies to cattle also cattle should be vaccinated 
for certain diseases so that we can save them from getting those diseases and we can ensure their health and our production of uh, milk and eggs so poultry farming is also one thing uh, so far students we talked about one component of animal husbandry that was uh, the uh, cattle farming the second uh, thing uh, i would like to uh, you know discuss in today's class is poultry farming poultry is about uh, raising the domestic fowl for egg production and chicken meat production so uh, these uh, fowls are there which are raised in farm condition uh, in uh, artificial condition and a proper care is taken and the requirement is we are raising them for two things uh, for chicken requirement and also for uh, the production of eggs so of course for that also same thing required we need to breed uh, a good quality of uh, chickens uh, like you know uh, domestic fowl so that both the things can be uh, fulfilled one is the requirement of good quality uh, chickens which the chicken production is good and also another the good quality and number number as well as uh, the quality of eggs well uh, so, dr varsne we have only 5 minutes left now to conclude yes, uh, yes, sir. to continue uh, yeah. this session thank you sir thank you thank you for reminding uh i'll be uh, winding up uh, my session on time thank you uh, so students uh, this is uh, something which is a uh, one of the important parts of animal husbandry poultry farming and we have again for breeding uh, we have indigenous variety that is asil and we have exotic variety that is lagna so when asil and lagna are bred they uh, come out with the progenies uh, which have uh, so many qualities the desirable traits like number and quality of chicks dwarf boyless parents for commercial chick production summer adaptation tolerance to high temperature like you know in summer condition is there so they are able to tolerate that they are not uh, vulnerable to that and low maintenance requirement like you know with minimum uh, no no costly food is required minimum maintenance is required and we can uh, raise these poultry uh, with us and they are going to uh, fetch good number and quality of eggs as well as the chicken requirement as non vegetarian so we have two type of uh, production in poultry egg and broiler egg is means the layer uh, farming we call it layer farming for the production of egg and broiler production is for the production of chicken so we need to provide you know vitamin rich food like vitamin a vitamin k which food should be provided to poultry and also the food which is rich in protein and fat should be provided to them so this is uh, very important when we talk about the shelter a proper temperature proper uh, you know uh, the the roof and the kind of uh, surrounding which should be there clean hygienic condition should be there along with the nutrient food so that uh, they are we are able to raise them properly disease this is also another issue in poultry as we talked about cattle farming in poultry farming also we need to take care of their sanitation the spraying of disinfectant you know at regular inspectant and apart from that vaccination is also important in case of poultry also so they have certain diseases uh, with uh, like you know the chances are there they might be suffering those diseases so before that on time we should vaccinate them so that we are reducing their loss and also make sure uh, ensuring their good so this is uh, something very important apart from that sir uh, these were the two components that i have discussed with students in today's class and i would like them to go and explore of course pandemic time is going on so i can't say that you know physically you go out but on internet also in this technological era they can go and explore uh, on internet about you know various farms how the animals are kept how their raising is done how the food and shelter requirement is taken care of and students you should also explore about white revolution in india what is white, white revolution and how the milk production has been impacted by it or one more thing you should uh, explore that is it sustainable or is it not okay second thing that i want you to explore is that the different type of diseases which are found in farm cattle and poultry and how we can remove them number 3 that i want you to explore eminent animal husbandry research institutions in india and the world and how they are taking care of animal husbandry apart from that uh, these are uh, some of the important links that i thought uh that you can watch in your free time and that is going to ensure your extra learning in this field so please do uh watch these links just you know you can just note down when you watch the video and then you can type on youtube and you will be able to have access to it so this was it sir uh, with this i would like to end my presentation and i would uh, like if you have got some questions from the students or something uh i haven't received any questions so far but yes uh, any positive message would you like to leave to our uh, viewers we have, we have only one minute uh, left to to wind up this session sir uh, the message i would like to uh, leave to the students is that that in this era where you know uh, a lot of running is there materialistic aspects are there mm. so we have to take care of everything like when we talk about food resources so of course we have this you know responsibility that we have a huge population and we have to fulfill the need of the population so we can't deny this fact that we need the food 
but we should when we are talking about sources of food when we are talking about the animal food and when we are talking about the plant food then we should take care of them also this is very important you know the blatant exploitation should not happen because this is very important students to understand that human being us we are not at the top of evolution please if you have this criteria in your mind please forget it do away with this we are we are not at the top we are just one of the animal species which are there or not so if we commit this mistake of understanding that we are everything and we can exploit anybody then we will see the scenarios of you know ecology uh, ecological imbalance like you know corona virus covid 19 sir many times people are saying that how these so many variants are coming because ecological balance has been disturbed so similarly when we are using the animal sources also we should not be exploitative in nature proper care should be taken of animals so that we are able to reap the benefits of the food that we are getting But at the same time, we are not farming. So this is the message that I would like to. Absolutely, and I believe we all will follow this message as seriously to comprehend your uh, all dilemmas, whatever you have in your mind. So I believe uh, you love this session. Any questions still you have, uh, you may uh, send in the comment box and the chat box, and we will try to take these questions in the next session if possible. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Varshne, for your valuable time you have given to our uh, to our uh, viewers. So thank you so much once again. Thank you. Sir. And all the viewers, whosoever watching this program, uh, don't need to go anywhere because in next session we will understand how to write a letter of complaint. So this is basically uh, the topic for next session, subject in English for class nine student, not too uh, too much uh, time ahead. So just stay with me and keep watching PMEP Channel.